Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the response of Lopas RC network with a step input. In the previous video, I have explained you how a Lopas RC network responds when a sinusoidal signal applied at the input of it. See, this is the Lopas RC network. This is the Lopas RC network where the resistor is connected between input and output terminal and whereas the capacitor is connected across the output that means resistance followed by capacitor and a current is passing through this whenever the input voltage is applied a current is passing through it and we are taking it as I of t. Let us consider all these three parameters are varying with respect to time. Now we are giving a step input as the input a step input let us consider the step is having a voltage V. This is the amplitude of the input signal. See, this is the input signal which is having an amplitude of V volts. Now, the figure shows the response of this low pass RC network when a step input is applied here. Okay, let us see how this circuit responds when a step input is applied. See, what do you mean by step? t is equal to 0 that means t less than 0 at t less than 0 t less than 0 means this period in this period there is no signal there is no signal so v input we can say 0 volts and for t greater than 0 v input is equal to v volts but what is the condition at t is equal to 0? t is equal to 0 is the time at which the input abruptly changes from 0 to v volts. There is a sudden change at exactly t is equal to 0 at this particular point. There is a change, a sudden change from 0 to v volts in the input. But remember capacitor does not allow sudden changes. Capacitor does not allow sudden changes in the voltage. Capacitor does not allow sudden changes in the voltage. Then what? How it responds? It simply acts as a short circuit. Capacitor does not allow sudden changes. So it simply acts as a short circuit at that particular t is equal to 0. So at t is equal to 0, at t is equal to 0, capacitor C acts as, acts as short circuit short circuit then what is the output v out is equal to 0 v out is equal to 0 volts so even the time instant at t is equal to 0 immediately the capacitor acts as a short circuit and output is output we are taking across the short circuit so what happens output is also equal to 0 that's why even if the input is changing suddenly from 0 to v volts but the output is still at 0 volts but what happens slowly capacitor is nothing but a battery slowly as the current is uh, passing through this capacitor capacitor starts charging capacitor slowly charges what is the maximum peak voltage it has to charge how much is the input voltage we are giving up to that voltage it tries to charge it we are here we are giving v volts so capacitor also tries to charge up to v volts but after some time okay maximum 99.3 percent of the maximum voltage we are reaching after 5 time constants 5 into rc rc is nothing but a time constant this is the generalized notation until 5 time constants it will not reach the steady state nothing but maximum response now let us see how the capacitor is charging see capacitor slowly charges 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 and reaches the maximum voltage this period is completely depending upon the value of the resistance and capacitance this particular period whatever the charging period I am assuming this particular period is completely depending on the value of the resistance and capacitance if the resistance and capacitance value that means the multiplication of this RC product is RC product value is more then it takes very long time to reach the steady state if this RC product is very less then it reaches the steady state immediately okay you can observe this type of difference when we are going for the square wave and pulse waveform okay so if rc value is very high very high then output reaches steady state after long time after a 
long time because the value of RC is very very high and similarly if the value of RC is very low very low see with which parameter we are comparing this with the time constant of the input time period of the input signal okay very low then output reaches immediately output reaches immediately the steady state okay this is generalized normally we as we are having this condition now let us see how to calculate the output voltage expression v not of t okay see some other parameters are also here uh, 10 percent this is the 10 percent value we can say 0 0.1 of the maximum voltage and this is the 0 0.9 90 percent of this maximum voltage nothing but 0 0.9 v and it is the time constant where we are having 63.2 percent of the maximum value okay and from here to here the difference between these two points 10 percent 90 percent we are naming it as rise time okay we are having few other classes in the coming sessions then i will explain what is this rise time fall time and how to calculate this uh, rise time expression okay so first let us see the expression apply KVL apply KVL around the loop we are having only one loop here so when we are applying the loop equation then V i of t is equal to R i of t plus see here V i of t is equal to R i of t into the R means R into i of t plus what is the voltage across this capacitor okay that we are writing it as this is 1 by C integral i of t dt this is the voltage across capacitor expression 1 by C integral i dt okay so differentiate on both sides differentiate on both sides then dvi of t differentiation with respect to time is equal to r into r is a constant di of t by dt plus 1 by c differentiation and integration gets cancelled and it is left with 1 by c into 1 by c i dt okay and we know what is the input voltage we are applying v i of t is a step input v okay then it results d v i of t by dt is equal to d v by dt constant differentiation is zero so that's why zero is equal to r into d i of t by dt plus one by c I D T. Okay, so apply Laplace transform. Apply Laplace transform. What happens? Zero is equal to R into C differentiation and I of T. So S into I of S with an initial condition like i of 0 plus plus 1 by c into i of s okay so now we need to find what is this initial condition i of 0 plus is equal to just if you manipulate this you will get this equation i of s into s plus 1 by rc now the initial current we have calculated like this but from the circuit see from the circuit initially capacitor is uncharged and there is no voltage across this so we can take the i of 0 plus is the difference between these two potentials we let us assume v dash is the initial voltage here and v is the voltage here so v minus v dash by r so from circuit i of 0 plus is equal to v minus v dash by r assuming that v dash is the initial voltage v dash is the initial voltage and v is the final voltage v final voltage 
these terms are important v dash is initial voltage initial voltage now take that and substitute i of s is equal to i of 0 plus see from this equation i of 0 plus divided by s plus 1 by rc now substitute that i of 0 plus here then it becomes that is equal to v minus v dash by r into s plus 1 by rc so therefore we can write v naught of s is equal to v i of s minus i of s into r how can you write this one from the circuit diagram only see see from the circuit we can write v i of s in suppose if the circuit is considered in the laplace transform domain then v i of s is equal to r into i of s plus output voltage v naught of s okay so from there we can write it as like this now if you substitute this value i of s here then v i of s is nothing but step voltage laplace transform v by s because v i of t is equal to v if you apply laplace transform it becomes v by s minus r into i of s is v minus v dash divided by r into s plus 1 by rc so r r cancel and now it is v by s minus v minus v dash by s plus 1 by rc okay this is what v naught of s now what we need to do apply simply inverse laplace transform this is from the circuit you can write from circuit okay so apply now inverse laplace transform apply inverse laplace transform what happens now see inverse laplace transform v naught of s becomes v naught of t is equal to and v by s it becomes simply v minus v minus v dash it is a constant and now s 1 by s plus 1 by rc we have laplace transform formulas from there it is minus t by e power minus t by rc okay what we have assumed v is the final value v dash is the initial value so more generally the generic notation of this one output voltage equation for the step input of a low pass rc network is given by v final minus v final minus v initial into e power minus t by rc this is the expression for low pass rc network operated with a step input okay v final minus v final minus v initial into e power minus t by rc okay suppose if the capacitor is initially if the capacitor is initially uncharged okay if the capacitor is initially uncharged what is v in or v initial is equal to 0 volts that is v initial is equal to 0 volts it is 0 so v naught of t is equal to v minus v minus 0 that is considered v finally as v into e power minus t by rc that we can write it as v if you take common 1 minus e power minus t by rc this is what v naught of t see why i am saying this equation and the previous equation is if we don't know the initial condition or if the initial condition is not zero then we can use this formula if the initial condition is zero if in the problems when we are calculating the problems and calculating the output voltages then if it is mentioned then directly you can consider 
like this okay depending upon the application we can use either this formula or this formula okay so this is what the concept related to the low pass rc network operated with a step input in the next video i will explain how to calculate the expression for rise time as i said and i have shown you in the graph thank you